Hello everybody, welcome to another video on the Vehiculations channel. I am in my 1988 Toyota van, Krusty. If you've watched the videos, you're familiar. We are on our way doing something kind of unique. Uh, found a van, it's 1989 Toyota van. It needs some work, uh, as most of these 1980s vans do but the wife and I are headed to get this lady. She's accusing me of trying to find a girlfriend for Krusty, which never even entered my mind, but I think it's actually really funny. Hope you enjoy coming along for the ride. I'll kind of show you what we're getting and then introduce the new van to the, the Vehiculations channel and we will add it to the mix because I'm going to be doing some cleanup, some uh, rehab of some pieces and parts. I've wanted a, another one for a while but never quite found the right one. This one's not as nice as I wish it was but hopefully we can clean it up, make it pretty. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna hit the road again. Here she comes. Sickness continue. This is hilarious. My wife is actually driving a Toyota van. starting to work on the 1989 Toyota van that we purchased not too long ago. It is a two-wheel drive, dual sunroofs. I think you can kind of see them. It has the parade roof in the rear and the little pop-up sunroof in the front. Fog lights. It's basically the LE version of the van. And automatic. It has the swiveling captain's chairs in the back. So since we've purchased the van, I have cleaned the carpets up. They need to be vacuumed again because I've been in here working, but did some detailing on the carpets, detailing on the walls. Um, it's because of the age, typical. The velour felting that's on the plastic is kind of gross, a little bit discolored, needs to be given some attention. Um, upholstery is in really good shape. The roof is not horrible. There's some details missing. The light there, the little step light missing. I think that's the sensor that's going to the door. Front's in good shape. The little cover, you saw it in the back. The cover's got a crack in it, but it's in decent shape. I've got it off because I've been opening this up and down. The dash is like immaculate, which is crazy. There is a leaky windshield that I'm going to be contending with. Um, and the cooler box is destroyed. It was disgusting. I don't know exactly what happened. It's like a Coke exploded in there or something. Who knows when. It does have the little, the little ice, ice trays. Really cool. I have no idea if the air conditioner works. I've not even attempted to try it. Very oddly, it has a push-button start, strangely enough. I have replaced a couple of the cracked plastic pieces on the steering column already from my stockpile. Speaking of this windshield, whoever did this really should just be ashamed of themselves. It's just a horrible 
installation job on that windshield. And I've already trimmed off all of this bubbling urethane. It was just really bad. But there's a little bit of rust here in the columns that needs to be addressed. A little bit of surface rust down here uh, on these points. So I'm going to be pulling this windshield and I will be working on that. This is going to be a future video not too far from now. I've got all the pieces and parts. I'm going to have to address this crack in the paint and basically just grind this back down, smooth it out, and repaint it. I think this thing was sideswiped. The door operates and functions properly, but I think there's Bondo in this. In fact, there's a hump right here where somebody Bondoed it, I think, and just did not get it back down to flat, which is not cool, but awesome wheels. The tires were in good shape when we got it. I believe I'm gonna have to get a new hatch find a, a hatch for the rear because it um, does not seal and I want to say that I'll show you this in a future video but I believe the top of it is warped maybe somebody had it open when they backed it into something I don't know that's not not good the van's got a lot of potential um, it just needs some attention when I bought it, I was not necessarily expecting a project, but hindsight's 2020. So I'm gonna pull these chairs out right now and then replace a couple of um, items that I just got in from Toyota that have to do with the vacuum system. <laughs> So that gets the chairs out of the way. I'm sure everyone is like, how many times does this guy have to take these things off? And quite a few times. Let's go for our 12s. my little bio light to the rescue so I've got him clamped up in there so you can see this this is a valve a diaphragm actually for I believe it's your air conditioning idle valve or diaphragm someone described what it does I have not really researched it because I just realized the part I needed and just ordered it direct from Toyota it's still available part number for this is 88606 two eight zero one zero the part that's missing on mine on Luna is this spring-loaded adjustment when we bought this I got it home looked at it in detail uh, your nylon screw adjustment screw and spring where it goes it was gone this had been plugged with a piece of uh, rubber butyl and it was just, they literally just capped it. Now I've put new vacuum lines in here, here. These are new vacuum lines. Um, and it's just funny because I guess the air conditioning system doesn't necessarily work or hasn't worked. And this is probably one of the things I'm sure that would contribute to that. Um, so I'm going to put this brand new one in place and get that one out of the way. And that'll be one more thing done. Let me just pull these vacuum lines off and this guy, gotcha. Another souvenir working on Toyota vans.
and this is the part they had plugged with butyl. You can still see it jammed inside there. That one goes there. That one goes there. Okay, so there you have it. The thing is in place. Now I'm going to replace this hose here. I think I'm going to go ahead and yank these hoses and replace them as well if I've got the proper hose here. And I don't want to break that connector. And it is literally not even rubber anymore. Look at that. And that's one reason I am having issues with the way the van is running because these are not rubber anymore. Sheesh. I can't bend it and I can't, oh, I can't break it. Wow, that's messed up. A lot of rubber on this fan is just like this. Hard as a rock. I literally could take a chisel to that. idea where that just went. These hoses are insane. Okay. Good. Nice. And that's not too horrible. So then this hose comes up and over. Yep. Good. I'm going to replace these other vacuum hoses too in the back, but you can't even see them, so I'm not even going to bother to film it. Where do you go? Oh my goodness, all the way back there. Break. Sure did. Gotcha. Ugh, gotta love working blind. Oof. There's that one. Whew. Wow. That's nuts. All right. So that guy's going to go all the way back there where it was. Sweet. Okay. Clamps into this guy. Goes on down there. And slides onto that one. Two more vacuum lines. Done. Actually, quite a few more vacuum lines done. Wonderful. That's awesome. It's gotten very quiet. Well, I finally got this thing off in bits and pieces. I literally had to break it into chunks because it was so hard. I'm gonna get this back in place, push it down here and beyond where it needs to go. Very little play in this. Okay. There we go. That one and that one. New rubber. Give it another 30 years to petrify. Okay. So in review, the things I've done so far on, on Luna is I've replaced all of these vacuum lines. I have replaced um, the larger vacuum lines as well. Uh, in Back in here and here. Uh, I've got the new uh, idle control diaphragm is installed. I even got these guys which were a nightmare. Kind of a pain in the butt to do. So I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the uh, cover, get a new gasket in and change out the, uh, I believe that's the PCV valve right there. So let's take that apart. 
I need to take a picture of this so I know what goes where. Good. That's something good to keep in mind when you're doing this is take a few photos. It only takes a second to do it. You'll have a sense of reference of what you're dealing with. Get things out of your way. <laughs> messy but it's out and it is high time to clean it up oh my goodness it's nasty looking so there is what the top of the engine block it's looking pretty clean in there that's awesome so that's a good that's a good thing So that's pretty well wiped down and cleaned off as best as it's going to get. Pull off the old disgusting, yikes, the old gross gasket. It's done. Clean off all of this off the edge. say that this gets this about as clean as it's gonna get yeah I would say so these grommets I don't have grommets so I'm just gonna have to leave them be how they are so let's get this guy changed out he needs to pop out Under. It's going to come out without leaving all kinds of garbage behind. This is what happens when an engine is not maintained. Your rubber turns to wood and makes it basically impossible to do a simple task such as removing this. Don't bend it. Oh, come on. Seriously? Just felt a raindrop. Oh, I think I'm getting it. Finally. Got it. Good grief. more coming out and that thing 
was so plugged up. That's not for me. That's just garbage. That's bound to have an effect too on how it operates. This grommet part number on it is 90480-18001. Hilarious. Okay, that goes there. This guy from Toyota Direct. Very nice. 12204 Look at that. Nice and pretty. Very nice. And my gasket for this guy is 11213. 71020. That is directly from Toyota as well. Good. There we go. Got it. So that is done. Well, heck fire, that's not cool. That looks like that's been broke a long time. Okay. All those are in place. The gasket looks like it's good. Definitely throw some codes. <sighs> what a difference that made. Now, if I can just figure out, this is a sensor having to do with coolant, I'm sure. So if I can get this piece replaced, it looks like there's there's a few more little bits and pieces in there that need to be done. But wow, huge difference. So I would say that was successful. Um, the simple fact of switching those vacuum lines out, uh, getting a couple of new pieces in, the diaphragm and the valve on the crankcase, uh, having that replaced, and just getting rid of those old petrified rubber lines, uh, getting those out of there and getting this fresh. That was perfect. Um, earlier I got the a new filter in place over there, air filter, so that made a huge difference. So I'm gonna address a few more of these items. Um, looks like maybe I could redo that belt. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna to try to track that down. And a few other things, and that's perfect. Now onto the transmission and getting this windshield done would be next. But as it stands right now, mechanically, it's cranking just wonderfully. You guys have a safe time out and about. Take it easy, enjoy the last of summer 2021.